I'm Beth Strout Minky from HeartView Foundation, and we are excited to share with you an innovative technique that we have for reaching out to our patients. HeartView Foundation is located in Bismarck, North Dakota, um, and we offer a broad continuum of services, including residential, outpatient, continuing care, and medication assisted therapy. We have been excited because we have found that technology has been a fabulous way for us to bridge the barriers of weather, travel, as well as just living issues that people find uh, get in the way of them accessing support and treatment. We started our, tech, our use of technology by introducing Wi-Fi into our facility in 2010. And in 2013, we moved to using an electronic health record. We moved into the, a private social network starting in 2010 for a number of our patients and alumni and family members. In 2013, we were fortunate enough to receive a SAMHSA grant so we could enhance and expand our private social network, which is called NAR. NAR stands for Network Assisted Recovery. With our private network, we have clinicians that post on a daily basis messages of information, education, and support. It's a way of offering fellowship for our NAR patients without them ever leaving the comfort of home or where they feel safe. It's available 24 seven, and um, it's a, available to anybody that volunteers for the program indefinitely. We found that it's had very positive outcomes. And this has been tracked by our project evaluator, Dr. Erin Wynn Stanley. Dr. Wynn Stanley will be sharing um, some of the outcomes from our NAR project. I'm Dr. Erin Wynn Stanley at the University of Cincinnati. I've been working with HeartView Foundation um, since uh, 2010, and I am the evaluator for their SAMHSA funded project that's evaluating NAR network assisted recovery. Based on our preliminary analysis that we conducted in June uh, of this year, 2015, um, we found that patients that participated in NAR liked NAR. Um, they report that it supports their recovery. And what we're really excited about from this preliminary data is that our patients that continue to use NAR at three months after their discharge um, report having lower levels of alcohol and drug use. So we're excited to continue to follow up on this uh, novel approach to enhance and improve outcomes for patients in continuing care.